Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be doing an I tried following a 1950s hair tutorial. Now before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty is a custom shampoo and conditioning company that gives you a formula that's specifically made for you. And they make you take a two minute quiz and get to know you and get to know your hair so they can make the best formula for your hair. It's pretty cool. And yes, it's 100% vegan, cruelty free, no GMOs, no sulfates and no parabens. So you can be sure it's actually really good for your hair. A feature that literally blew me away was the fact that you can pick the color and you can pick the scent of your product. So, of course I had to go for a super 1950s looking little duo here. I got this like in an aqua color and this in a pastel pink. And I got the set in vanilla since vanilla was very popular in the 50s. But I have been loving it as you can tell. I've already kind of emptied it out, but let's shake it up and make it look like I just got it. <laughs> um, I have really, really curly hair, so it's naturally very dry. Um, so that's like the number one thing I put in my in my quiz thing. It has to be packed with a lot of moisture. Um, and so far it's doing really, really good. Like it's moving nicely. Usually when my hair is dry, it's very stiff. So this product is available in the US, Australia, Great Britain, Europe, and in New Zealand. And if you guys wanna get 20% off your first order, make sure you click the link down below in the description box. All right, so now let's go ahead and try the tutorial. And I'm gonna say try because I don't know if it's gonna go well. I can't promise you that. So this hair tutorial is called Teenage Hairstyles of the 50s, Techniques and Accessories, and specifically it's from 1956. Now what's interesting about any video tutorial that I found from the 1950s is that they don't really walk you through the steps. They kind of just show you and you just have to keep rewinding and keep watching it over and over again until you get it. So. This is going to be a real challenge. The of a forgotten art, okay, so... Of particular... Whoa, whoa, that was quick. Okay, so let's try out... I know the girl has longer hair. But I can still do a little bun. So I'm going to put my hair up. It looks like her hair is really slicked back. And there's some, like, bangs going down. So I'm going to try to do that. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. I've never done my, my short hair in a ponytail before. I'm kind of feeling it. Okay, so I'm gonna take some Suavecita pomade and slick back the flyaways. And what I love about this pomade is that it's not like a permanent thing, so like if you wanna change your hairstyle, you just brush your hair out and it's gone. Pretty cool. So it's in a bun already, so we're catching up with the guy and he's like twisting it around. <laughs> this is not gonna look good. Okay. That's as best as, you know, I wanna leave that out. It looks kinda good. No, it doesn't. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'll use my hair extensions to make a bun. A real bun. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm going to grab my extensions. Hi. This is my pet rat. Um, I'm going to put it around. And people have used hair extensions in the 50s and wigs, so it's nothing new or against the decade. It's just this girl has naturally long hair, so... I'm going to make a real bun. Ooh, cute. Okay. And then pin it down just like you did. Okay. The art of individual hair styling. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I need I need a a brooch, a brooch, a brooch, a brooch, right? A brooch, brooch. So I actually have a vintage brooch in my jewelry collection and this is what it looks like. So this brooch is by the company La Jolie and is a fashion clip imported from Western Europe's fashion centers, accentuates your attire with a continental accent, shapes your scarves into smart looking accessories, adds sparkle and elegance. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> right in the center of the bun so that's what I'm gonna do I hope that looks as good as I think it does Mayfair stylist Henry da Costa demonstrates some original yet quite simple ideas here he coils Evelyn's long hair round an ordinary brooch and yeah. arranges a fringe to follow the same theme okay Oh, okay, so he's kind of like doing like that like 
little pointy bang thing. So I'm gonna try to do that. Her bangs are like an Audrey style short bang, baby bang. I don't have a baby bang and I never will have one because it doesn't look good on me. But I can try to like mimic that in some kind of way. Hold on. And it kind of like goes from one side to the other and it like leads into the ponytail, so. So this part is supposed to lead into the hair, which I'm gonna have to pin. He used like, it looks like he used a lot of gel. I'm not about that life, so I'm just gonna pin it skillfully against the head like that. Ooh, I kinda like this. And let me, let me get these flyaways out the way. Okay. <gasps> okay, but like this though, oh, I've never done a bun like any video of mine, and I never thought I ever would. But I might need to, I might need to do this someday. Wait, wait, it's falling apart. <laughs> Okay, so I have no idea how I'm gonna get these little spiky things. Maybe I can do like the spiky things in the front, like this. What was that? What was that? Chocolate, what did you say? Okay. Oh! <gasps> Breakfast at Tiffany's, who? <gasps> I love this like, Bang, bun, double B action. I'm actually surprised it looked as good as I thought it did. Or maybe it's just because my viewfinder is like this small and from far away, squinting, it looks good, but like, it looks good. The thing that I would do if I were to go out like this, I would glue the hair down to my forehead. <laughs> Not to the point where it's like super slick, but just so it doesn't move, like if I were to walk outside and there's wind, I would probably just go ahead and glue it to my head. <laughs> so here's a better look at the hairstyle. I have not seen the clip yet, so I guess I'm gonna find out when I edit it. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any videos that you wanna see in the future, make sure you comment them down below. And if you wanna see more vintage content like this, Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next video.